Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to do makeup today. Um, I am very sick so I kind of don't want to. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. Hi, good job. Yeah, so I'm, I've been sick, uh, I want to say like two days already. Nah. So, um, yeah, I don't want to put makeup on my face or anything. So today it's going to be more like a life update, what's been happening um, with myself and my kids. There's Damien. He's also been sick for the past two weeks already, I want to say. He uh, he had a cough. Actually, I took them to the doctor because he had got sick and then um, it was like over the weekend. And then he kind of got over it. Like not over it completely, but he was, seemed like he was getting better. And then Aaliyah, my daughter, was the one that... Um, she got sick too, but hers, she she was getting like a fever, she didn't want to eat, she didn't want to do nothing, all she was doing was laying in bed, falling asleep, so I took them to the doctor, and their dad was like, because I was just going to take my daughter, and he's like, no, take them both, because... So if they're gonna give you medication, might as well uh, be for both. So I ended up taking them, and thank God that I did because Aaliyah ended up. Um, she had two ear, like she had an ear infection, but on both ears, and then Damien had bronchitis. So I was like, what? He didn't even sound like. I mean, he sounded sick, but not like bronchitis sick, you know. Um, so they put them on antibiotics. So they hadn't been going to school. Um, and that's another thing, Aliyah had just got signed up to start school where Damien's going, but since they've been sick, I haven't even sent them to school. Um, they seem like they're getting better, but for the past three days, Damien's been throwing up, like, toda la madrugada, not toda la madrugada, but, like, in la madrugada, he's been throwing up, and it's, like, phlegm, so I think that's what it is, like, he's just spitting out all the phlegm, and since he can't, um, you know, spit him out. So I think that's what it's giving him, like, asco to have him there. So he's just throwing it up. So, um, depending on how they do this weekend, they're going to go back to school. Well, Damien's going to go back to school and it's going to be Elia's first day. So I'm pretty nervous about that. She's three years old, so I'm pretty nervous. Uh, that's how old Damien was when he started to. <laughs> that's how old, um, he's been two years uh, attending there already. And he's a preschooler, so next year he's going to be a TK. And she's going to also do two years with her at the preschool. So I'm pretty like happy but nervous at the same time um because she's my baby so i like she's already the last one to go to school so i don't know i'm it's like mixed emotions <laughs> but um, yeah so that's what's been happening with us and then i think i got a infection on my throat because it hurts really bad like to swallow but i've been taking some antibiotics also that i had from the last time i got sick and they that's been helping me so thank god my oldest fernando hasn't got sick um what else that's pretty much what's been happening with us. That's the update that I wanted to give you guys on my kids because um, how they have autism. That's why they're um, attending school at a very young age, even without them being potty trained. So, and that's the cool thing about that school, the school that they go to. They, they have like a, they potty train them. They have a schedule routine that they attend. 
or they go by through the day, or that they go by through the day, it's like a vis visual schedule, and then um, they receive speech therapy, they re receive occupational therapy, and they do like circle time, they have recess, they do lunch, they do breakfast, and then they have their own little, you know, play area. Masterpiece, by the way. Say hello. <laughs> yeah, so that's basically the big news that's happening with us. That my daughter, my baby girl, is going to start school. Um, I think she's really going to like it. She's really... <sighs> so <bad. laughs> No more kisses. So, yeah, she's very um, intrigued when there's other kids around her. She's very um, curious. So I believe she's really going to like school. She was doing speech therapy once a week before her diagnosis. Um, and she really interacted with the speech therapist she was very good the only thing was that um she wouldn't want to have sessions just alone with her so i think she's gonna have like little anxiety um like separation issues but hopefully they don't get too bad or else i'm gonna have to consider the bus because that's what i did with damien and it's funny with damien because he like the first I want to say the first, um, it was a couple of months, probably like five months or four months from the, when he just started school, even from the very first day, he didn't cry, he didn't do anything, I would drop him off and he would just go like, okay, bye mom, and I was kind of like, oh wow, and then after a while, he just started crying, like, I think he kind of got the concept of, okay, I'm going to school, but that means that my mom's going to leave me here. Even though um, they're going for three hours, I think he kind of got the concept that that's how it was. Like, oh, I'm going to this place, but she's going to drop me off and she's not going to stay. But he really loves school. That's the weird thing. Like, he loves school since I, since I signed him up for the bus. Oh, and then that's why I signed him up for the bus because in, on the mornings, every morning, he would throw a tantrum. He would throw himself on the floor. He would kick the door when I would get out. Uh, he wasn't cooperating. So that's when his teacher told me uh, about the bus. And it was really hard in the beginning, especially because he would cry. Like when he would see the bus, he would cover his face, he didn't want to see it. And then he would cry. Um, it was really hard. But um, I believe in not over protecting my children. I want to prepare them as much as I can because I know that I'm not going to be there, you know, forever. So I want them to be as independent as possible. This is... I want them to be as independent as possible. So that's why I, I did um, agree to sign them up on the bus. Because the teacher said that builds independency, that builds um, enthusiasm, you know, for school. He can be amongst his peers for a longer period of time, so he can uh, copy um, or pick up from, you know, habits that he sees from them. And it's really good. He, he, he does really good now. He loves the bus. He's always wanting to go on the bus. Now the three hours isn't enough for him, so it's kind of like good that now that he's going into TK, um, he is going to go for four hours not just three it's moving up to like six or five or something like that so i mean the hard part was always the beginning to get him on the bus hearing him cry you know seeing the bus take off and he's crying in there and you always have that fear of not knowing how they're gonna treat your child and the fact that your child has autism and he's nonverbal and he can't come home and tell you you know like how they treated him 
but I've been really blessed with the people that's been involved in his life education wise so I do thank God for that every day and um I'm also thankful that my daughter's gonna be in that same environment that same group of people nothing new so um I'm really grateful for that and uh with my daughter that's why I kind of want her to kind of uh not go through that moment so I won't have to sign her up on the bus because I don't really mind you know taking them and picking them up or whatever but uh, I mean if I have to go through that same process I will do so so yeah and uh what else what else what else I think that's it. Oh, I'm also going to sign him up for um, summer school. My son Damien, like I said, he loves school. so And he's a kid that loves to be on a routine. And when the weekend comes, it's like chaos because he's not going to school. He's not, you know, going through the little routine that they go through. And it's just chaos because he keeps wanting to go to school. He'll bring me his backpack. He'll bring me his sweater. He'll bring me his blanket. Like, giving me signs excuse me giving me signs um that he wants to go to school so i know he really i know he really enjoys it last time i signed him uh, last year i signed him up for summer school and he really loved it the the month i think that was left over before he had to go in uh for the next school year he was just like kind of over being ho at home already and Aaliyah, I'm going to sign her up because it's we're in February already, so they come out of school in June. I don't want her to, you know, get on a routine from here to, to June and then kind of like not go to school and then throw her back again in August. I want her to kind of understand that um, that's something that she's going to be doing from now on. Besos? Mira. Hi. Be hi. Hello. Dog. No dog. No dog. That's nice. Eee. So, yeah, that's my reasons for uh, signing them up both for summer school. Um, I don't think I'm going to send my son, my oldest, to summer school. Eee. I had a bad experience last eee. year. No. Go that way. Okay, okay. Go that way. Stop. I had a bad experience uh, with him in summer school last year. This teacher, she was just... Ugh, I get a headache just remembering. She was just um, mean, you know, like... My, my oldest has, has ADHD, so he's very hyper, he's very blunt, he's very... Um, Inopportuno, you know, like he speaks at a turn, he's loud, he's um, just energetic all day long. And I, I let her know from the very first day that I dropped him off, I told him, you know what, this is his condition, uh, there's only so much that he can do, you know, there's only so much in his power, so I kind of gave her a heads up for her to know him and understand him a little bit even from before you know working with him and she was just like kind of once she had him she she just didn't she bumped heads with him so i mean because you know one messed it up for all now i have that sour taste in my mouth for him and um summer school and then not to mention that um they don't always get summer school in their school so it's different teachers that I, I don't know i've never worked with or whatever so i don't think i'm gonna send him to summer school but i'm, I'm gonna try to keep up um you know just having him read having him work on math problems um just little things like that so he won't fall behind um during the summer break but um oh and then the fair's coming so we're going to be taking the kids to the fair. They loved it last year. Yes? Yeah, they loved it last year. We took Damien for his... Uh, they have a, a field trip day for the fair. And it's for kids with autism. It's like Or special needs, you know. And they have it where they you could go in free. Your family. 
and you know well, his family so we took the babies last year and they absolutely loved it they didn't want to get off the rides um they had an awesome time you could go in for free uh the foods were the prices were cut very low and then the prices, the rides were for free also. You could go in as many times as you want. But I'll, like, obviously getting on the ride and then once it's done, get off and then go back in line. But everything was free. So I don't think we're going to make it this year. Only because, like I said, it, they've been really sick and the field trip's already next week. <clears throat> so we're just going to end up going, like, the day that we take them, which is going to be next Saturday. Today's Friday, by the way. Um, yeah, so we're gonna take them next Saturday. I'm gonna try to vlog a little bit to, for you guys to see. It's really fun. And we always take pictures, so I'll definitely be showing that on the next video. Yeah, I don't know if on the next video or the video after that. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. I just wanted to do something a little bit different. Hi. Gosh. I wanted to do something a little bit different. Besos, mira. Hi. Hi. Say hi. <laughs> she swears she's a dog. Say hi. Oh. Excuse you. They're seeing you. Achoo. Achoo. <laughs> Can you say bye-bye? Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ah, <laughs> Damien, come here. Okay. Get over there. Let me see. Let me put your phone. Let me see you. There. It's on. Yeah, so I just wanted to give you guys a little update. And since I'm sick, I didn't want to do a makeup. Um, get ready with me. And I've been wanting to just give you guys an update. And, you know, for you guys to get to know my kids a little bit more. Um, my hubby's going to give me a camera already. So hopefully my audio, my, you know... The quality of the videos are going to get a lot better because I've been doing the videos through my phone. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, so hopefully with the new camera, everything's going to be a little bit better. And I'll be able to definitely vlog more instead of just do, like, you know, makeup, uh, makeup videos. Because I'll be able to, uh, carry you guys, carry you guys with me, like, everywhere I go or whatever. <laughs> So, because my original plan was to do, like, on Sunday to post the vlog of the week, what we did through the week, and then, um, probably do, like, a makeup tutorial or get ready with me, and then, uh, maybe also, like, a cook with me or, you know, something with cooking. So, <clears throat> hopefully... Uh, when I get the camera, it's going to be a lot easier and a lot better for me to do those type of videos. So, yeah. I hope you guys like my video. Comment and subscribe. And see you guys on the next video. Bye. Say bye. Say bye. 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 Yes. Mm. <laughs> bye, you guys. See you in the next one.